Hey everyone, I'm back. I haven't posted a video in a week because last week I kind of took like a little break. I just didn't feel like filming any videos and that's the first time I've ever um, intentionally not filmed a video and taken a break. I've never really done that because I usually always film videos like every week but it felt really nice but now I just feel oh, I'm running out of breath. I feel so much more inspired and ready to film more videos. So today I'm doing a blue festival makeup look. It's time for the festival looks because August, a lot of festivals are happening. So I'm doing a blue festival look first because my friend Pina asked me to film one. So I hope you enjoy and let's just get started. For a festival makeup look, I recommend not wearing a lot of face makeup and have a lighter base because you are just gonna sweat it all off. And you're just, your makeup's going to go to shit and you're just going to feel yucky. So I just applied some concealer and did my eyebrows and primed my eyes already. But I like to conceal and highlight so I'm going to highlight after I finish my eyeshadow. And this is going to be a really simple look. So let's get started. I'm going to set it with a white eyeshadow as usual. I'm going to take the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and take Coconut Cream and set my eyelids. So I'm filming in my parents' bedroom again, and I think I'm just going to always film makeup tutorials here because my parents' bedroom is facing the front of my house. It's in the front of my house, so the sun always shines through the windows. And the lighting is just too damn good. Okay, I want to quickly talk about Teen Wolf because I'm obsessed with Teen Wolf. It's one of my all-time favorite shows, and it's crazy that like it's at their sixth season and I've been watching this since pretty much I started high school. Yeah, since I started high school, I've been watching Teen Wolf because now I'm in college. And Okay, Styles is not in this last half of the season and it's the ending of the show and I'm so fucking pissed because Styles, Dylan O'Brien, was my favorite character in the show and I just don't understand why he's not in it because he's been there since day one. So like, I just wish he would finish the show. But he did guest star in the season premiere. premiere. I was screaming. Um, Morgan and I always watch Teen Wolf together. And we were, I was just like, ah. Um, but like, what Morgan and I are really pissed about is that we've been waiting six fucking seasons for Lydia and Styles to be together. And then, like, yeah, they were together at the, like, the last episode before the second half started. But, like, I thought they were going to follow through and show them in a relationship. Like, that's not enough for me. Just like that moment they had together when they were finally reunited. And I'm just so, uh, I'm so upset. But I already know the season's going to be good. Because Teen Wolf's always fucking good. I think every season was amazing. Because there there's a lot of shows where each season just gets worse. Or like some seasons were bad and some were good. But Teen Wolf, every season is just like equally amazing. Like I don't think I have a favorite season. Everything was just so great. Okay, let's talk about new characters. Nolan, Freud Guterres, so good looking. Oh my god, he's such a cutie. I can't wait to see him in Teen Wolf and more of him. Um, okay, the new, ugh, I don't want to spoil anything, but the new Hellhound. Oh my god, that guy was so fucking fine. And the fact that he died in the first episode, I was like, what? What? And that new guidance counselor is so fucking sketch. Mm-mm, do not like her. And Derek's back. Yes. And Colton Haynes is back. And I'm like not ready. I'm just like not ready. Like, I just don't even know what to expect from Jackson. I fucking hate Jackson. Oh my god. I hate him so much. He's such a little bitch. Um, so hopefully he's nice here. And I really want Theo to be with Malia. Because I think they vibe really well. And I feel like they can relate to each other a lot. Because... Like, I feel like they're both misunderstood in a way. It's like they both have family problems. Wow, I just said, oh, I'm going to say a little bit about Teen Wolf, but I could just go on and on and on about Teen Wolf. I'm going to take Blueberry Swirl. Okay, this is not really pigmented. but like ugh, the eyeshadow again I'm so annoyed okay let's just put in the other eye 
I am not enjoying that color and the way it's blending. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay Electric palette and go in with this um, royal blue called Chaos and apply this into my crease. Boom. Now that's fucking pigment. Take the white shade again from my Too Faced palette. And now for my lid, I'm going to be taking this gorgeous blue called Gonzo from my Urban Decay Electric palette. I'm going to use a brush it comes with and apply it on my lid. I've never used this shade, so. Love it! Oh my god, I love this color. Wow, it's pigmented. Now for my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in a video. But I love this palette. It's very, very sparkly. If you don't like a sparkly highlight, do not get this palette. Obviously, the blue highlight called Orion. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone and inner corner with this color. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a brush and just blend everything so I can get it. So I did conceal before the video as I said but I just applied a bit more concealer um, to try to cover up my dark circles and to clean up the eyeshadow and then the highlight now it's time to powder the face I'm going to take my wet and wild mega glow contouring palette in caramel toffee kind of use it to bake you're gonna see when I put it on my face so you can see like it doesn't settle into my skin it just sits there so what I like to do is just like bake my entire face and then I just blend it all in Okay, now it's time to contour. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette and taking the same shade I use on my lower lash line. And I'm using a small flat top brush. This is really great for carving out um, the cheekbones. I contoured my nose, my nose, my bottom lip, and just applied some mascara on my top lashes. I'm just waiting for that to dry before I do my bottom lashes because this mascara, it's the Essence Lash Princess. The formula is really wet, and usually when I go in to do my bottom lashes, it um, my top lashes transfer to my lid. But anyways, so I have been starting to get into blush again lately, which I know is like rare because I haven't worn blush in months. I don't like to wear blush if I wear a highlight because then my cheeks always just look like Neapolitan ice cream and I don't dig that look. So um, I haven't been really into wearing highlight on my cheeks for the last um, few days. So for blush, I'm going to be taking this Topshop blush. They probably don't even sell this anymore, honestly, because I bought this like four years ago. It is the it is the blush in Dream Phone and I ha I've never even hit pan on it. And I used to use this blush every single day when I first bought it for months. But like, I don't know, there's just so much freaking product. Ooh. I used to love this blush. I'm going to highlight my nose with the same blue highlighter.
let's try it this is the nyx slide on glide on stay on and definitely a turn on <laughs> waterproof eyeliner that's such a nice name extreme shine eyeliner this eyeliner is so good the name had to be this long in the shade esmeralda how do we feel Ooh, i like it oopsie i really like it okay cool since i apply that green eyeliner and i'm not totally loving the blue highlighter on my skin tone i'm gonna grab the green shade called helia in the palette which i really like um this shade is really wearable it doesn't really look green on the skin it looks more golden i find Yeah, that looks cooler. Lips, lips. Okay, so I'm gonna mix these two colors and they make a really nice combination. So I'm gonna take the NYX Lingerie in Exotic and then apply over top Kat Von D Lolita. I had to refilm this outro because I had lipstick in my teeth, but this is the end of the video. This is a completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see future videos of mine. Follow me on Instagram. The link is down below. I finally changed my Instagram username because I hated my username. Now it is Taylor with two R's Kane. Taylor Kane. Follow me if you'd like. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.